Hello fellow beings of Middle-earth and welcome back to the Dwarves of Erebor campaign. This is the ninth episode and today we are having a very special episode. Right. We're going to use this army to conquer the whole of Rune. In addition we have another catapult which will switch out or swap out for a unit of Sons of the Fall. And at that moment we should swiftly sweep over the entirety of Rune. If my plan succeeds. So let's just go at it. In the meantime, we do have a very strong army which is preparing up in the north around Dane's Halls, which will send and conquer Mordorwit. So, of course, we only need two more regions and to bring down Rune, and we have met the victory conditions in this campaign, which we can be proud of. But uh, we definitely do want to bring down Mordor as well. And Break down the walls of Baradur, I think. Sorry about that. Now, let's see. I actually sent another army up towards um, the Burka just to see what is going on over there. But it looks like we are going to get plenty of action around Mistran, which is nice. Uh, we do, of course, have Gimli here. Uh, let's hope that they actually attack him. That Enemy would be amazing to see a bridge back. battle, but I... Doubt they will. Now they are besieging Mistran, of course. So I think we'll have to sally out with um, Gimli and just help against these armies. So let's just... I'll show the army that we are actually bringing. It's King Dane with this force. We even have some Obsidian Guard, which we haven't seen just yet. But we're going to send these guys and these guys with this force. We're actually already full. We're going to... Get rid of some of these. Yeah, let's get rid of some of the Iron Guard. And let's put these guys inside. Now, let's see who is actually better the Iron Guard or the Iron Fist Hammers. It's pretty even, to be honest. But uh, the Iron Fist uh, Hammers are actually effective against armor, so I do prefer them. Let's just send this army towards Erebor. Now, also, I do want to establish a border here, so I do want to buy Skan and Talathang from Dale. And we do have a Diplomat on our way already. Now, I'm just going, yeah, it's only one... It's only one unit inside here, so I'm just going to siege them out. In the meantime, let's see what we are facing over here. So these guys actually decided to start sieging us out, which is kind of stupid. They also have this army, which should be swiftly dealt with. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is swap out this unit of Sons of the Fallen. And now we have three catapult units inside here, which is awesome. So let's just get rid of these armies. And yeah, they will definitely run when they see this army. Alright, so we today, the reason this is a special episode is just because we're going to see so a lot of action with this amazing army, which has 11,000 in upkeep cost, which should say something about this army. Yeah, we should just deal with all of these buggers at the same time. I think it's just enjoyable to see the whole of this army at the same time. Definitely these three catapults is going to be nice. So this is not really a force. But we do have some Udiga Marines, we have some Kalis Raiders, and some Balkot Tribesmen, and some Crossbows, but it's mostly just trash, which this army will be easily can easily deal with. So I'll see you on the battlefield. Alright, we are at it. Let's see some action from these wonderful catapults. Let's see here as well if the Blacklock Engineers can yield some damage to these boys. Uh, that was close. Let's hope we get one right in the middle. That was almost as well. So if you haven't seen the last episode, I suggest you go and watch that because this is kind of the follow-up episode, one could say, to the previous episode. Let's see. Ah, yeah, we're starting to get some nice shots over here. Let's see. There we go. That's wonderful. Now, I do want to ask you guys, what is your favorite Dwarven character in the Lord of the Rings? Let's give the Balkot Tribesmen some axes right in the face. Let's see how much damage we can yield. There we go. 
They, they, these guys are just going to get evaporated once the axe hits them because they have almost no armor. Not that it will really help having armor either, but they don't really have a lot of defense. Now I'm going to show you how easily we can break down these Canis Raiders with some of these grape shots. Let's get, yeah, we just want to keep doing what we're doing at the moment. It's kind of funny to just standing here and uh, just using our siege engines and our vastly superior troops. Let's see, there we go. We don't actually need to use all these catapults over here. Now uh, give the dragon guard some, uh, just charge them. And yeah, you can see the candidate traders were evaporated by the first hit from these grape shots. Now I suggest all of you guys just hit these guys. And Gimli will swiftly deal with these Avlad Dragon Guard by himself, even though these guys are actually armor piercing. I really hope the other army will soon start marching towards us, and then we can use the Dwarven Catapult against those. Yeah, and they only have four left now. Let's try to hit the Battle Thrabsman with the Grape Shot. I want to test it with, um, with different ranges and see how it performs. So my favorite Dwarven character, that would probably be... I, I really like Gimli to be honest. Uh, yeah, especially in the book, his temperament is a bit, little bit different than in the movies. Or like, he's very different in my opinion. And I enjoy, enjoy him much more in the books, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, okay, let's save some of this ammo. I want to save it for yeah now these guys are coming that's what we want let's just rain hell upon these boys let's try to snipe out the general now the only thing that this army would actually need is probably some cavalry but we cannot bring any very very good cavalry except for daily cavalry which we have in reserve but we'll see what we can do about that uh is a no they're just aiming at that one lone candy Raider. Let's hope we get the... Let's definitely hope we get the uh, bodyguard now. And it's going to be fun seeing these guys charge into all of our great, great warriors right here. Wow, these guys are a little bit close to Gimli. Ah, now we're going to get some nice hits. There we go. The Udiga Marines, we definitely want to get rid of them. They can do some real damage. Alright, let's try to hit the uh, Dalatai Hunters. And you can just, yeah, just stay here for the meantime. These guys have charged the Dragon Slayers. Now let's use our superior numbers and see what our different units can do over here. I'm definitely looking forward to this. Charge the back up. Iron Guard, charge in! And these gotta, yeah, they're just gonna keep firing at the. Uh, Local in bodyguard. You can go in over here. The Dragon Slayer is definitely my favorite unit. You hit those and you just have fun now, boys. Like, these guys are so ridiculously OP. Let's hope we lose as few men as possible. We're actually going to send these guys over here. And let's stop the catapult now, I think. Except for we could hit these guys, of course. But, uh, like, Almost all our troops is going to do so well. There's no doubt about it. You guys can just hit these guys as well. Axe guard, you come over here on the flank. And the dragon slayers are slaughtering. Now I hit the Udiga Marines in the rear. Udiga Marines actually have, I think, eight. Yeah, nine missile attack. That's pretty decent. But there's definitely nothing that can stop these armies advance. Just look at this. A charge from the Dragon Slayers in the rear! Oh, uh, just look at that. That's so deadly. Hit the locker in bodyguard. Just surround them. Axe guard, go over here. Get rid of those. You go over here. The Iron Guard you can get almost everywhere and they are really, really good. Yeah, and here we have the Orikani Iron Fist Hammers. They seem to be doing very well as well. They are armor piercing, so they will definitely do especially good against armor piercing units. 
And we got a nice charge over here. Let's get Gimli over here as well. And more Sons of the Fall. Uh, these guys are actually getting targeted. I don't like that. Now let's uh, bring down these guys for good. Let's the run these guys over here. They have lost half their men. Only thing we don't have in this army is mobility. <sighs> these guys are not even firing. A little bit annoying. Get in there, boys. And let's stop the catapults. I don't want any friendly fire. Uh, they're actually doing some grape shots over here. And then we definitely risk some friendly fire. But when the dragon slayers and the hammers of Gundabad come in here. Oh, that's not good. Let's just get an one volley. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. And now we just surround them. And there we go. That's a wonderful charge. The general is caught alone. And I really want to see the Iron Fist Hammers charge into the back. So I still haven't lost a single man. Let's send some Dragon Slayers and some, some Hammers. The enemy general and there he goes dead. down. Let the crows have his miserable bones and let our swords have his men. Now, just capture these boys. It's going to be interesting to see. We lost 3%. Let's see how much that really is of the other units. Because of course a lot of this uh, of the damage zone is just to Gimli alone. And I want to preserve this army as long as possible. If possible I want to conquer the whole of Mora with just this army. Which I think would be really really cool. Alright, when they, these guys charge in over here, it's over for these boys. Ah uh, yeah. They are the surrounded now. Dragon Slayers. Alright, let's we end the battle there. 54 lost. Yesterday. That's incredible. And half of it were just from the Axe Guard. And some were from the Dwarven Catapults. Some Axe Guard. Dragon Slayers. But just look at how much kills these get guys got. Iron Fist Hammers, 162 kills, zero lost. That's incredible. Yeah, a lot of these guys did really, really well. Awesome. Alright. Now we just want to push on and head straight for all of their cities. And definitely going to free, free them from, or help Dorvinian over on the western side. I think that's necessary. Try to, because Karsant is, is almost in Rune's hands. But of course when we into the battlefield right now. They shouldn't be able to hold the win off for too long. Yeah. There we go. Glory and, and yeah. Oh, he actually got away. Oh yeah, of course we killed the other general. Now I understand. Let's see how much they got in there. I guess we could just send a couple sons over there and just occupy them. But I really want to fill up this army as much as possible. So. Let's just send this unit down here. Leaving the army. And let's just bring in these guys into the army instead. I'm just going to bring out these very Move quickly. Up. It's just I going will. to look perfect. I, I, I. There we go. Head on to last. Will, we shall My you can attack with some cavalry as well. There we go. And we are going to have cavalry following this army now. There we go. And Lord Thorin could just stay in Mistan for now. I think everything is fine. Yeah, it, they might have some... Yeah, they have some sort of resistance over here. I really want to see some more siege battles. Where we just rain hell upon their defenses like we did in the last episode. I think that was really, really exciting. Now, whereas for the next campaigns I will play, I have decided that one of them should be the Northern Dune Line. But I really don't want to start the campaign before my exams is over. I'm halfway there now. I've um, finished two of them. Uh, we're actually getting attacked over here. Let's hope we have the force to repel them. Ah, yeah. Alright, I'm going to play this battle off camera. We're definitely going to win it though. Uh, but I don't know why they don't favor us. Right, they are done for. Who is this? Is this uh, 
Battles in Erdar. Perhaps some kind of uh, Iron Crown units, it looks like. I would guess it is so. A red banner. Probably the Witch King's army, but one cannot guess for sure. It could be... It doesn't necessarily need to be the Lord of Thrones related, actually. But the Merka is probably ours. And that's just exterminated. So that is good. Now we don't have to worry about that anymore. I just re re recruited a cog to get there, by the way. Because, uh, yeah, that's how we do it with the dwarves. Alright. Ah, oh, they actually have a couple units coming up here. Actually, a large army. I'm rather going to just leave them. And Gimli, yeah, they have a lot of troops over here. What about these guys? I would really like to fight a uh, bridge battle with these guys, but I don't think they're going to go for the bait. Ah, nice. Alright, let's just see. We're the strongest faction, that's very well. Resistance is futile. And we got the Hammers of Gundabad at our capital. Wow, not that we don't really need it at this point. Let's get some more of those. My king. I, my liege. Actually, these guys were supposed I, to go here. I can't lead the troops there, sire. I, and King Dan will just head to Erebor and just fill up with, and just swap out a couple of units. I guess we could just make two armies, actually, one led by Fulla as well. Why not? We definitely have the forces too. Now I was thinking about buying both uh, Skan and Talatang from. Uh, Dale. Let's do that. Now, do we head down south over here, Mataram? Or should we go straight for Lest? Yeah, we probably just want to go over here and just secure this border and become allies with Darwinian. These guys can't do much damage at the moment. We do have some forces here, so they're fine for the time being. But let's actually start recruiting a couple of units and just send them down south. I think that's useful. Ah, they're going to get a lot of troops in here. That's wonderful. Abdus, we are even going to see some Loki Gamperim and Loki Flagrim. That is wonderful. Now, we do want to have... Yeah, these guys are not going to engage in the battle anyways, to be honest. But let's just get rid of these two armies. But uh, I will see you on the battlefield because it's just so amazing to see these guys in action. So I will see you on the back. They are already on their way. The Arlad Dragon Riders, it looks like. Now we don't. Like, we can actually shoot normal shots here as well. Uh, but I rather just wait a little bit and hit them when once they start marching. Definitely want to get rid of these Lok in Asarim. I mean, um, Lok Narim, of course. Let's rain hell upon them. Actually, you guys could target over here. You as well. And you will target the Dietai Hunters. Let's see some nice action over here. The Dragon Slayers and the Hammers are ready for some action, definitely. The Black Lock as well. Oh, I'm just looking so much forward to this shot. You guys as well. Come on. Yeah, there we go. They're waiting for the reinforcements, but we're just going to start raining hell upon them. Oh, yes. I, I, like, I definitely suggest you go and do this in your own Erebor campaign or Dwarven campaign. Oh, just look at this. It's like meteors. It's so, so amazing. There we go. There we go. Just look at them go. 3% already. Ah, they actually have a ballista themselves. Wow, we definitely need to get rid of that. Wherever that is. Can't really see it. Oh, wow. It's actually only one ballista, but we definitely want to get rid of it because it can cause so much havoc. Let's just get rid of it already. And they're targeting these guys. Wow. That's nasty. Let's get in some shots, boys. Get rid of them. And you are going to do get rid of these guys. 
Alright, let's see the grape shot doing some nice damage. I don't like this ballista. Alright, let's let's take a look at these guys getting completely shredded. Like this unit is kind of the perfect unit to use the grape shots on, in my opinion. Let's see, 76 to Holy shit. They were evaporated. Uh, let's see if we can bring down. Oh, that's so close. But we definitely do want to get rid of it. That's some nice shots. These guys are getting evaporated. I don't like that. Like, I'm sure you guys also have felt that. Like, you just want to keep your whole army intact just because it looks so awesome. If you get what I mean. There we go. I forgot about who the general is. They probably have a proper general. I'm just going to wait this out. Our siege engines will just keep giving us... Oh, I'm actually going to use some... Some of these shots now, I think they're perfect for this uh, kind of situation when I think about it. Let's try to get some nice uh, grape shots over here. I think they're perfect for location. Let's see. 14%, let's see how much it uh, becomes now after these shots. And of course, as always, they target these... Uh... Oh, let's just take a look at this. There we go. You see, they go so fast. And you saw some of them go down, but I didn't really see a lot of them. But yeah, you actually see a lot of people just going down all around the area. Now the other army is incoming as well. We're holding up fine though. And we can just charge in these boys whenever we want. I actually think if we hit the units in front that it's going to do more damage because it kind of angles over the units. I want to experience what the optimal strategy to use these cat the grape shots are. Yeah, they're now completely evaporated. Alright, let's uh, do some of some damage over here. Only half the enemy oh, yeah. remains. Wonderful. Alright, let's see here. I want to see some golden boys, golden boys burn up like nothing. Alright, let's see this. Like, I'm enjoying this so much. I hope you are too. Let's see. Oh, jeez. It's starting to... Yeah, they keep targeting my elite... That's why we need some cavalry in this force as well. Oh yes! That's what you want to see. Jeez, that's wonderful. Oh yes. They just fall by the thousands. Ah, they're getting some more cavalry raiders over here. Let's get rid of them, boys. There we go. Oh my god. This hit 50 elites in one hit. It's incredible. And this grape shot is going to start doing some nice damage over here. Oh yes. Just hit wherever you can. To be honest, we just want to go for their, their missiles because we can deal with all of their... Um, Cavalry, I mean uh, infantry. Oh, just look at them go. Alright, let's uh, send some um, nice shots into the lock and brim. And in general, these Candish Hunters. Oh, there we go. I love these shots the most. The grape shots are good too, but these are definitely the most. Yes, they look so good when they hit. Alright, let's go for the grape shots now. You want to hit the candy shelters. And you 
hit the canvas raiders. Alright, I think it's about time we charge in. And some of you might wonder why I'm not using shield wall. I'm actually going to make a video about that. Oh wow, these guys actually got shards in the back. I didn't even realize. And you guys can hit the gap rim. Let's go in, boys. Dragon Slayers, send them in. These guys as well. Let's have some fun. Axe Guard. Unleash Hell. Iron Guard, go over here and help. Yeah, these guys are probably getting targeted by... Yeah, they're getting targeted by the Lock Flag Rim. They are, of course, armor piercing, so they will actually yield some damage. Let's put these guys over here and just send axes right into them. You can deal with those. These guys are actually getting uh, taken out from two sides, but that won't really matter. Once we set in the Iron Guard, it will all be good. Alright, let's just... Yeah, you can deal with those, and you can deal with the Lock. And you were supposed to go for these guys. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their And men. I think these guys are the ones we want to target right now. Actually, get rid of their ballista now. It has been doing way more damage than it was supposed to. And the Iron Guard has come to the rescue. But we have lost a couple more percentage this time. Basically because we can't really handle all of their units. Ah, oh, and this of course. The ballista. There we go. A lot of axe guard have gone down. Dark crossbowman going down. Let's just charge around with the dragon slayers. The and there one of the generals goes down. And we'll stop the catapults from firing now. And we can send... Yeah, we can just... Rip these guys apart. And over here, let's hit these guys. Yeah, they can't even do anything against the mass that we have to offer over here. Let's just get these guys in somewhere. Iron Guard, going to do another charge. And we're getting a charge in the rear. That's going to devastate them. I don't think we need to use these guys anymore. Iron Fist Hammers. You just have fun wherever you want. Alright, let's see a nice charge from the Dragon Slayers. Into the rear of the Lock Flag Rim. Yeah, they're already routed. No doubt about it. Alright, you guys need to charge over here. This is the problem, as I mentioned before, you can't really handle all the units because there's so many. Let's see a nice charge from the Iron Fist Hammers from the Orokani Mountains. Oh, that's wonderful. That's deadly. Deadly, deadly, deadly. Hit the Dragon Guard. We want to protect our flank. You guys might want to charge just to be able to defend yourself. I think the Dragon Guard is going to take heavy losses. Yeah, they are. And at this point, you hit those, you hit those. All of these sons just take down whatever they can. But we have definitely taken some losses this, uh, this battle. It's a largely grand scale battle, of course, with armor piercing specialists. So it's to be expected. But our army doesn't look as healthy as it used to be. Yeah, there we go. Routed. And we don't have a lot of missiles to repel their missiles. We have, of course, the catapults and the black lock, but they do not have a very fast firing rate. And I think it might actually have been worth it to bring a cavalry unit instead of one of these Sons of the Fallen units. Probably going to swap out some once again. Yeah, it's just getting these canvas raiders down, which is annoying. 
And we don't have... We have captured the and there we go. General. We don't have the, the any fast units. Alright, let's just try to capture some of the units at least. And this is also the problem when you don't bring cavalry. They're going to get some of their forces away. And Dwarven units is very, very slow in comparison to other units. You can already see that. Alright, I think we're going to end the battle. 171 lost. That's terrible. Not terrible, but it stings me. The Sons of the Fallen is taking the most casualties, though. And Dragon Slayer is taking some hits. <laughs> Just look at the Dwarven catapult, so how much kills they got. It's insane. Hammers of Gundabad performing very well as well. Sons of the Fall. Yeah. It was a nice battle. But these Axe Guard were... They got a lot of uh, hits on them. From the Archers. And that's because the AI will usually target uh, Javelins first. So... Oh wow. Actually, a good thing could be to... Bring in trashy Javelins to soak up ammo if you know you have to save some units. For example, if you play a stale, you have some very cheap uh, javelin men, I think. I cannot remember, but I do believe they do have some. And if you are going up in a very... In a battle where you meet an enemy with a lot of strong enemy archers, you could use them as um, bait, to be honest. Alright. Ah, that did hurt on our troops, though. Let's kind of... Yeah, these guys were definitely going to swap out for these guys. I will not waste work I'm just going to get rid of them actually. And then we'll have some cavalry now, of course. <laughs> but the army is still very healthy, of course. Let's just head towards less and bring it down. The siege battles is where we really shine because of the catapults. Ah, we actually got another general here right now. That's fortunate. I will not waste words on you. I will not waste words on you. What I'm going to do is swiftly take down Lest. And then just head way you. back to Mistran once again. I think we should actually I send a couple of forces. My king. I, I don't I know why we still have these guys actually. They're not really doing much. So if you... Uh, I'm going to send I these guys I will, my over here. I, I will not and just occupy less once we have taken it. I will not waste words on you. you can actually just deal with this guy very quickly. Yeah, we'll do it the next turn. Alright, that was probably it. Let's end the turn. So to be honest, this army will do even better against Mordor, which relies very much on their armor. And they don't have a lot of armor piercing specialists, except for the Orc Mollers. Like, these units will do so well against the Temple... Temple Inquisitors, or I don't remember the name at the moment. Um, with the Nazgul bodyguards, for example. Alright, let's see what they do. Right, it been, been, would be nice to actually place Gimli on the bridge and see if they would attack us with a very large force. That would be so amazing. I can't imagine how powerful these guys would be in a bridge battle. There we go. Uh, they are sending lots of units, but uh, these guys just seems to be going over here. Alright. There we go. A lot of strong troops are over here. Got some more dragon slayers. Let's just send all of these guys towards Erebor. And you guys are already on your way. And then we're swiftly just going to decide what units we'll send with one army and we're going to get make another army and get another army down south. So two armies in total. Europe. Now let's try Always to uh, buy Skarn and uh, I don't remember the other name, uh, Talathan. Right, Skarn and Talathan. And we'll give you some nice money. What about 50 grand? They are allies after all. It's good to nice. see you. And there we go. Oh wow, they're actually pretty mad. We probably need to send some troops over there. My king, march. We and Skarn is completely today. fine. Wow, we actually got Royal Guard as a unit. I've never seen that before. 
That's really cool, actually. Wow. Just without the general, just like normal Royal Guard. That's so awesome. Let's just get them down. They don't have really a lot in their units, but that's pretty cool, to be honest. Now we have our border going all the way down here, which I think is nice. Can you... Yeah, you can move out. I do want to move around and just build towers everywhere now, so you can do that. And let's end with a battle of last. They're outnumbering us, but we're probably going to just completely slaughter them with these catapults. It's going to be exciting to see how few losses we can take. Let's try to take fewer than 100 losses. I don't know if that's impossible, but we'll see. All right, uh, they might have a lot of men on the walls and such. We'll see. But I'll see you in the battle. All right, so I'm just going to show you what I used to do. I am just bringing down these towers like I did in the last episode. But I just uh, thought I'd show it because this is the towers that yield da so much damage to you. And you just want to get rid of all these towers. And they are like one hit, I believe. So just bringing them down is pretty... It's very efficient. And what we're going to do after we've taken down those towers, we're going to hope that they all clog up in this town center. And then we can see some nice damage on the troops. All right, that was nice. We need to bring down this tower and we need to bring down these towers as well. Oh, they're actually sending for some tribesmen, but I'm just going to send the cavalry over here if need be. Uh, they're actually within reach. You see already they start hitting us. Let's get rid of this tower right here, and you can take down this tower. And these battle tribes are actually perfect to hit in not too long. But let's hope they all just go inside the town center. It's going to be so amazing to see those shots if that will become the reality. And there we go. No more harm from that tower. Or that tower. Just get rid of this tower as well. And that was on. Yeah, we got that tower as well. Let's just get this one as well. I don't know how far their reach is, but they usually have pretty large reach. As when we have taken down this tower and this tower, we can just start massacring their troops with our catapults. So just having dwarven catapults in your army can do so much. You don't even need very strong troops. You just need a dwarven catapult or two, and you can be able to do very much. And they're so accurate. Just look at her, how accurate they are. Right, let's just save those. And I thought this tower were already broken, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, let's uh, now send these over here, and let's try to do some damage on the lock flag rim. And yeah, you see they're already starting to go inside the town center. So what if we actually just hit them? Let's see what they will do then. Alright, let's just get up like this. And go for a charge now. Oh, it looks like these guys are kind of bugged. I think we do want to hit them and see what will happen. There we go. All right, they're just going to stand there it looks like, so we're just going to start. Let's see how far, no they can't hit the town center from this point, but let's try to just hit right inside these and you can go for these and I want to save the other catapult for a little while. Let's see now, oh that's going to be absolutely perfect, look at that. That was one hell of it. Alright, they're actually going to charge out here. We do want to get rid of them then. Another hit somewhere. Can't see where it's going to land. Alright, let's just stop firing for a little bit. We'll just deal with the tribesmen and... Oh yeah. Wonderful. Let's just get them over here. Gimli, we have some need for you as well. Let's hope they just march inside and let's hope they go to the town center. I just really want to see that madness where that can happen from that point of view. Right, let's just 
No, it's not the arrow towers firing, it's these guys. Alright, that's fine. Gimli. You can probably stand here and give them some access to their faces. And yeah, let's give these lock flagrim some more jab some more shots. And you guys just deal with these boys. Gimli can be our warden for now. Let's see. I really want to see. Oh, this is going to be devastating. <laughs> it's just like meteors. We didn't hit a lot of them though. Alright, let's uh, show you guys another strategy. Now, a lot of these guys are on the wall, so let's uh, see what we can do to them. I want to save you two. Just want to see these shots hit. We got a nice hit over there, and some uh, another hits. Alright, you guys uh, hit the walls. Now, there's a lot of troops on these walls, and we're just going to bring them all down. Gimli will not take a lot of casualties, I know that. You can actually bring down this wall, and you can just stay idle for now. We're going to break so many buildings as well. Right, there's no point in leaving him there now. They have some crossbowmen. And they will yield damage to the Gimli. You're going to see a lot of our men falling right there. But let's see if we can get a nice hit on this wall. And there we go. That's what you want to do when their archers climb up on the walls. Alright, let's give uh, these guys a wall as well. We're going to get revenge for, for what they just did to give me. And there we go. Just look at this blob. I'm looking so much forward to using it catapults over there but we just gotta secure this area first right, one more hit oh uh, they're still they keep bothering you Gimli what do you think about that let's see what the burgers can do all right prepare for madness and there we go that is so wonderful. It's so beautiful. That's 40% already. What about if we bring down this wall as well? That could be nice. Right, bring down that wall as well. I'm just going to utterly slaughter them. These guys. They, do, they just don't give up, do they? We don't have enough troops gathered over here, so that is worth targeting, I think. And there we go. How much are there left of them now? Yeah, that was 70 in one shot. Alright, give me give these guys some axes in their faces. And we're going to use these guys as soon as we can. We are through the enemy's walls. Into the breach and onto And when we have done this, of course, it is going to be very easy to just occupy all their walls. But I don't think they're just going to blob all the troops over here. But it would definitely be nice to see if they would. Alright, let's just speed it up a little bit and send some axes into these Dietai crossbowmen. Look at this uh, Dragon Wrath guildman just right now. There we go. He actually survived it. Alright, now what we want to do is kind of... Uh, these Balka tribesmen are still here as well. Alright, I'm going to send these catapults over here. I think they're not going to be targeted too much anyways. I think we're going to be fine. Gimli will take some shots, but his bodyguard can hold up pretty well. And I'm just going to use him as bait for the meantime. And then we're just going to send these guys over here. Ah, uh, there's they're actually sending some troops out over here. Alright, let's deal with them. If need be, we'll deal with them. The Daily Cavalry is not a good unit to charge into them, but when there's so few, 
like in this example right here, is completely fine. The AI is just not smart enough to do anything about this issue. But I think it's time we send in some more units. Let's get some Iron Guard over here, I want to see them. I also like the Iron Fist Hammers very much. Alright, now is the time to see some real shots. Gimme is pretty low now though, we want to be a little bit careful. Alright. Give me some shots, boys. Oh, just look. Alright, so. 20% kill at the moment. These guys are just standing here. Yeah, we're defending the town center. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> this happens. Wow, we only hit one shot. That was really. Yeah, that was not really what we wanted, but that's okay. Let's get one more shot. Let's just get Gimli out of there for the meantime. 24, it was 4% though. There we go. And there we go. Wonderful. Alright, keep targeting these guys. But if you go for these, yeah, you're not actually within range. Alright, I think it's time we end these guys. Let's um, send in some Iron Guard and deal with the Battle Tribesmen. They have some Arlad Dragon Guard over there. I think we're gonna hit these guys first. I just want to keep looking at this situation over here. There we go. Oh, Jesus. That was pretty, pretty devastating. Oh, these guys are actually out. Wow. What if we actually put these guys right here? But, um, yeah, let's, let's save these guys for a little bit. And let's see what we can do when we just put the, the grape shot right there. And there we go. Holy shit. Let's stay right there for the meantime. And you stay here. And you guys prepare to shoot, shoot these guys. And you don't really want to go too close. Alright, let's see if how this will work out. <laughs> Crazy shit. Holy shit. That was half the unit in one blow. And you just see how much you can utilize these guys, it's ridiculous. And I want to send you guys over here and deal with the other dragon guard, why not? Ah, uh, they're actually coming out now, we want to save this catapult. Iron guard, get rid of these buggers. Let's send in some axe guard as well, and just shoot axes into the rear. You guys just run away, and you two stay over here for now. We'll deal with these buggers. Iron God charging in, the might of Erebor. Alright, and you guys just send some nice petty axes into the rear. Uh, I really like the look of these guys, they look so heavily infantry, like, like the real elites. And these guys are just sending axes right into these guys and let's use the ability and let's just end this battle. Come on, you guys go over here. You stay here for now. Iron Fist Hammer is doing very good over here. Dark Tide Crossbowman. Alright, let's send in some Dragon Slayers as well. I want some experience on these guys. I want them battle hardened the and ready. Badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Yeah, it looks like we only have the grape shots left, but imagine what they can do when placed over here. You only have very few in this number left. We want to be a little bit careful here. This is the perfect angle. Iron Fist Hammer is just having fun over here. Alright, I think it's time we move these guys a little bit closer. Of course, they don't have any arrow towers over here, so it's of no concern at the moment. Get rid of the Dragon Guard for me, please. Let's see them in all their glory. The Axe Guard of Erebor. Oh, 
This is devastating. Just look at that. They're dropping like flies. I think we actually want to stop right there. Don't want to get too many casualties on our own. We will just capture some of them. And <laughs> we still haven't brought down the gate actually. Iron Guard can just keep going for these Balco tribesmen. Gimli can just have fun over here. And these guys can go over here. And we can go there. You guys go over here again. Bring down these Dalitai crossbowmen, Dragon Slayers. If you are kind. Actually, give me a spot it off. But there we go. Just slot these guys very quickly. Dragon Slayers going into the fray. Let's just get rid of that. Oh, there we go. Slaughtering them utterly. Gimli, you can go inside here, actually. Oh, these guys are actually on the walls, but it seems like this, yeah, these towers can still yield some damage. Just, let's just get them over here. And Dragon Slayers go inside as well. And these guys on the walls are not going to do much. Let's try to bring the catapult a little bit closer and try to get rid of these lock flag rim. And there they are, brought down. Alright, you guys can just hit these guys in the arena and get completely rid of them. The Iron Guard can just stay here. Just in a nice line. The Dragon Slayers, you will guard this area over here. Send in the catapults, boys. Oh, I love these guys. What is on their shields, though? Looks like some kind of... Yeah, I don't really know what that is. They could probably have gotten something else on their shields to make them look even cooler. It might be a Dwarven rune, though, that I'm not... That I do not know. And these guys, of course. Why have I not sent these guys over here? Yeah, well, the reason is because I have the catapults. I think we can use the catapults first. Uh, you guys can stay here and just take them when they come closer. And these guys are actually kind of bothering them. Let's just get rid of them very quickly. Iron Fist Hammers, just take out these guys. And let's send in all the catapults. And you start hitting these guys. Uh, we still don't... yeah, all the catapults are out of ammo. We only have the great shots left. That's fine. Can't really see who is targeting these guys. Might be someone on the walls. But now I'm doing the siege battle very, very, very slowly. But I just want to show you what you can really perform with very elite armies and if you just buy your time and have fun. Let's get some grape shots now. Ah, it's actually these guys which is firing. <laughs> this lone guy just keep running. And there we go. Wonderful. Let's get some more shots. Let's just speed it up a little bit at this point of time. Ah, yeah, there we go. And these catapults, the best thing about them is that they just become more and more OP because you just get more and more experience on them, so they got m more and more accurate, which is something that is pretty cool. And that is fine for now. You can stop, you can leave the city, good job. Now let's just send in the Iron Guard and yeah, they actually routed. I think we can just uh, deal with these guys and have fun with the last two catapults. How oh, this guy actually got inside. The battle is very much in our yeah, and we can deal if with these guys very quickly. Victory will be ours. I think this position right here is perfect. You guys just stay right here. 
and it's going to be perfect angle. Like, I do want to make sure I use the troops as much as well, because I've been using these guys a lot, like the catapults, but I think that's what you guys really want to see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just look at that. That is, like, I almost start laughing. That's just so funny. Let's send axes inside as well. Like, this catapult has almost uh, golden experience now. I don't know what other kind of units they have gotten. Yeah, I think this is the last. Let's send axes into these guys. Look at this. I feel bad for these guys at the moment. Jesus. Alright, you're fine now. You did a good job. I think we can end this now once and for all. And you guys can stay here. You can deal with the Balk tribesmen. Send them some axes. Or you can actually just charge them and you guys can come over here. And you can just stay here and guard. And then these guys will come, and then we hit these guys, and you guys will send some axes over there. Now it will be interesting to see if we got less than 100 casualties, as I said I wanted. Oh, these guys, why are... Wow. We don't want that to happen. You need to run away. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Right, you guys as well run for the town center. You just hit them in the rear. And you guys bring these guys down. Yeah, and that will be that. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I just want to have some fun. And just show how overpowered the Dwarven troops can be if you really want. Uh, and I thought we <laughs> we really had some fun right here. We lost some catapult crewmen, but I think, uh, except for that, we didn't lose a lot. 114. Yeah, we didn't uh, meet our requirements, but most of it is, of course, from Gimli's bodyguard. So it's not that... Didn't take that many casualties. Just look at the Dwarven catapults. One of them got 546 kills. These guys did really well as well. And the Iron Guard actually sustained some casualties, but that's fine. So that's less down. Now we can just take out Strondost. And this part of the world will be safe. And then we can just expand into Rune from the other parts. Like we did in the Dorinian campaign. Now, I talked about the shield wall video. Uh, I will release that uh, this week, I believe. As soon as I can. Or that will actually be next week then. I'll see when I have um, finished it off. But I'll, I'm definitely working on it. Because I think it's a nice subject for you guys. Resistance is futile. Infantry master. Now, uh, this guy is coming for us, but I think we have pretty much time to just actually... We can actually just... Yeah, we can go for these guys right away. Uh, I will probably play that uh, battle off camera. And that means the next time we're just going to head south again and deal with these guys. So that's going to be nice. But yeah, as I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys for the next episode.